Hi, it's Zena Warthog Princess, and welcome once again, and welcome to all the new folks as well. This video is a sort of a what's in my bag. I mean, it definitely is a what's in my bag, but it is unpacking from my cruise. So that all those people who've been asking, what did you take? How did you take it? Blah, blah, blah. Here we go. I didn't have time to do it going outbound, but I do have time today coming back. So we're gonna start big to small and we're gonna very quickly go through things and um, hopefully it's useful for you. Alibi up front, I overpacked as per my late latest standard, my trend. <laughs> but this time it was with a purpose. Uh, I mean, it's always with a purpose, but this time specifically it was my sister's first cruise and she doesn't have a lot of the nautical sea life bags and accessories, but she loves them. She's really into beer and lug as well. But I brought extra of all of that so that we both could use it, not just me rotating myself through the bags throughout the ship. Uh, um, yeah, and I change clothes a lot throughout the day on the ship because maybe I'll get up early and go play pickleball for an hour and then go get cleaned up, get showered, and put a casual run around the ship on a sea day, or a little bit less casual, but you know, not just a t-shirt and some capri sweats. I'll put on something a little nicer, like proper shorts and a blouse like this or something. Go do my excursion, come back, get cleaned up from that, shower, change, uh, and go to dinner, as an example. So I do have extra clothes, but I actually, this time, packed less than normal. You may not believe that when you see what I packed. I also tried to get it all in one suitcase with a carry-on and a backpack. So two carry-ons because my personal item is a backpack. Um, going outbound, I was able to put a couple of my clothes packing cubes into a small spinner um, just to get there. Because um, I have my sister's presents and all that in there too. Um, but then she gave me presents coming back. So I ended up borrowing back a suitcase I had lent to them and checked a second bag again. So, still worth it. I got it all. All right, so that's the long and short of it, but let's get into it. Like I said, we'll go big to small. This is a Samsonite. I think it's 27, 28, 29. I don't know. It's a big suitcase. Not the biggest, but very big. There's Kelly at the window. <laughs> She's outside. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this on the table and we're gonna dive in. It is 43, 44 pounds, both of the bags. Um, don't be scared by that. Oh my goodness, there's dog hair on my floor. Like, you wouldn't believe, even though we were both gone. And I haven't swept since I got back. Okay, sorry for the maneuvering. This bag is mostly non clothes. I'll give you a quick, oh, <laughs> my new present just turned on. Okay, so that's how I have it packed. Um, we'll do this side first. Toiletries. Yeah, I'm not gonna open it up. It's shampoo, conditioner, soap, lotions, all that. Uh, my sister gave me this gift. It's a Pumbaa Warthog. It's a game. Um, we didn't play it because we didn't have batteries, but that was fun. I brought Lug. I'm not thinking of the name right now, but the reusable shopping bags in Nautical Navy. I just brought one of them. Did use that quite a lot, actually. And then at my sister's house, I used it as my purse running around. If you're not familiar with cruising and or you haven't heard of the ducks, a lot, a lot of people are into hiding ducks on the ship. Um, and they put little tags on them. So here's a couple from my last couple cruises. This is from the cruise we were on, the Allure. This was a duck I gave to my niece. We did keep the ducks, not rehide them because the babies, the babies needed them. This is one from September, which I also gave to the kiddos, um, which they totally loved. This duck I kept because it was hand given to me by the person who brought them. And I have a lovely picture of them. I'll try to put it on the thumbnail so that they're fun. There's a lot of Texans on there and a lot of other fun people. There was a lot of snooty people too this time. That's unusual, but anyway, so that was my ducky that he gave me, so I kept it because it's personal. Okay, all right. This is, uh, I actually bought this. We went to the drugstore <laughs> and I don't have any Squishmallows. I don't need any, 
but it's Pumbaa and I'm the Warthog Princess. How could I not? And he actually came with a little Timon, but they're so soft and squishy. So maybe that'll be my hospital buddy or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But super fun, proper Squishmallow. I did take my pickleball racket with me, or paddle rather. This is an exterior cover. My pickleball is Vera Bradley. Um, and the paddle matches the cover, of course. Of course, because it's Cena. Um, yeah, not a cheap paddle. Works great though. I use it all the time um, around home and I take it on the ship. The ship does provide paddles. So they had pickleball every day if you wanted to play. Um, this is a little notebook um, my sister gave me. It's a jot notebook, 80 sheets. Comes with a little pen. She said the pen doesn't work well, but it's a perfect size for purses. I used my tricycle bags to organize things. So here's two of them. The other one's in here somewhere. One of them, I think this is the large one, had my hats. So I took a sun hat, didn't actually use it. It was sunny, but not, uh, it was hot and humid, but not crazy hot. I took my Royal Caribbean, this is my, I don't know if you can see that. That one's a princess crown for, I have a cruise queen shirt that I wear with it. And then that's a cruising one, obviously. And my Stars and Shells Navy, which actually I didn't wear that one on this trip. And my sister brought us matching hats, which when the video comes out with the pictures from the cruise, you'll see, but this was a fun one. Uh, we both wore these hats with matching Bucky's holiday t-shirts. It was super fun and we got a ton of attention, a whole bunch of people taking pictures with us like we were rock stars. It was hilarious, actually, I, unusual, but fun. Um, so that was it for that tricycle. The other, I also gave my sister a set of tricycles exactly the same as these. Um, which she didn't use, but she, you know, has them now to use for other things. So that empties that. This one was a pouch of pouches, <laughs> sort of. Um, this is my little black Vera Bradley microfiber wristlet. It is factory style. You can tell by the single diamonds versus double diamonds. But it was an older version. I've used this for many, many years. I'll use it like on formal night, put my phone in my tip money or a zip ID and my CPAS card in there. This is a great, very badly reactive in the really regatta, really very nautical, but you put your phone in the back, you put your water bottle in the front, you put a zip ID or whatever in the middle. Other things too, you can put playing cards and just carry this and be hands-free around the ship or on an excursion. This is, um, sure enough, it's a cotton but it has that CPAS card slot on the back. You put your phone in the front, and that's really all you need bopping around the ship, like if you don't have pockets in your outfit or whatever. This is a reactive pouch, Paisley Wave Fish, I think it was. It's off the belt bag. It comes with two pouches. I use this pouch a lot. I did not use it on this trip, but I use this pouch a lot in purses and stuff. I did bring this because I used that purse. You'll see it later, reactive hipster. But I love these. These are a set of three pencil pouches from Vera. These were not sold by Vera proper. They were sold by like paper store and other places, but this one is, uh, I wanna say a shore thing. Um, there was a, There's three pouches. The other ones are more of the shore thing. There's another name for the Springtide Navy, I think it is. I don't know how I remember that, but I love these pouches. They're thin and lightweight, great for organizing your bags on like excursions or just travel. You'll see in my backpack, I have some. This is a Jujube Be Quick in uh, CMO, I think it is, but fun, fun. This one has a strap, so I could wear that as a crossbody. You can make it a wristlet, you can do it. I didn't actually use this one, but I have Jujube in my bag. I've got a Peekaboo in Sea Life Blue from Lug, giant, giant zip ID or a phone case again. Um, you could wear this with a strap. I do have the strap in my bag so I could go down the front or crossbody with it that way. This is the small pouch from the schooner set. I am using the other pouches elsewhere in my packing. I didn't actually use that one for anything. And then this is the, ooh, what do they call it now? It's like the large cosmetic in reactive. It used to be lighting up at the outlet. This is sure enough. Very nautical indeed. I sometimes just use it for packing um, organization. I didn't use it for anything. Most things did get used though, almost everything. Uh, this I got as a gift. I don't know if she's gonna see it, but 
gift for Christmas for someone special who does not live here. And while I was gone, I got to go to my niece's Christmas concert at her school. That was so fun. She had a solo. Yay, Bella. And this is the, hmm, it's kind of like a large brush up, but it's the factory style. So I think it's like Grand Cosmetic or something. I don't know. Their names are all different. But this is in um, what was Shore Thing, but the factory style one. So I think it's Anchors Away was the name of it. Clearly nautical and sea life both. So in the front of this, I had my waterproof phone case, which I didn't use because we didn't actually go in the water at the beaches. And then I have my extra, these are the little things for the cell phone. You put it inside and it gives you the clip out the back. You'll see it on my phone shortly. So that's all that was in the front part. It's kind of a flat compartment, it's a brush compartment. And then the main compartment, this is where I had all my zip IDs and lanyards. So the lanyards are in the schooner. I want to say this is the medium. I could be wrong, but I think this is the medium one. But we brought a lot of magnetic hooks because the walls are magnetic. So I just had them on a carabiner to all the ones I brought. And I bought this one so I can make a bag charm out of that because that's a Royal Caribbean one. But it's fun colors. Anyway, so I brought not just nautical ones. I have like my um, Anchors Away. I have a blingy rose gold. I have got the teal, the blue, the purples, a couple purples. I've got wide lanyard and sure enough. I got a tan performance twill. Anyways, just some options that go with a lot of things. Oh, I've got a big mess over here. And then zip IDs I brought. We're not gonna go through everything. Oh, there's a waterproof card case. That goes over there. So I brought the fishy, brought the morning shells. I brought the deluxe seahorse, of course. So that's the one that has the extra bit. And my sister and I both carried these all week. We just changed them up, sometimes multiple times a day. So that, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, sure enough, we got the seahorse, of course, with the vinyl coated, the painted vinyl. Anchors away, elderberry. Sea life, I think it was. Anyways, I've got a couple of these, but this one is the one with the octopus. Wisteria, which is lighten up. We got go fish, black microfiber. Ah, this is my birthday present from the outlet in Houston. My sister and I went shopping. Um, it's a card case and sunny medallion. That was their gift. I had a couple patterns to pick from, but I already had those. So I got that. Um, here's the strap for the peekaboo. The card bit from the lanyard I bought from Royal, which probably could go over there. And then Wad O bag charms and such. So, this I bought this heart carabiner. It has the quick clip. I bought this at the outlet when we went in Houston. But these two I had previous, they had them there as well, but I had two of them already. Um, they're just turtle carabiners. So they're kind of tricky to put on some bags because they catch as you go around. But they're great for holding things together. I've got these. These used to be used on my knee boards for flying. I won a bottle opener from Royal. <laughs> we won a lot of things. We didn't play that much, but we won almost every time. I took second in the bean bag, but that's it. There's an old Royal Caribbean. I think it's like Marina Blue or something. But it's uh, soft, kind of, but it's got vinyl coated. Um, I've got one that I made. For cruising, obviously. Uh-oh, it's tangled into this other one, which I also made. Okay, so this one is like sea life critters that are glass critters, and then it has silver stuff, and then a blingy anchor in the bottom. This one, oh, where'd it go? This one I made matching ones for my sister and I. It's more of a gold or bronze base. It has travel-related things. Um, see things, you can see the steering wheel. And then mine has Tigger at the top and hers has Eeyore at the top because that's our spirit animals. And then I gave her a big Eeyore and I have a big Tigger, just a keychain. I didn't decorate it. And this is another one I made for both my sister and I. It's actually gold blingy anchor. And then I did it up like my previous anchor. I just couldn't find this in silver and this is kind of big. But we, use, we both use those a lot. It matches basically all my nautical bags. <laughs> okay, enough about that. So that's that side. Now the zipper side, 
We're going to have to crank it up just a little bit for time. I've got the um, uh, back sack, I think it's called. This is from the retail side, Marina um, Really Regatta. It has organization. It's perfect for bopping around the ship. I threw my iPad, my coloring, my cards, a pen, a notepad, actually multiple pens and notepad, my phone, everything in here, and carry that around the ship because then I don't have to go back to my room for miscellaneous things. This is a hockey puck that I don't know if you can see the colors are changing, blinking. My sister gave this to me for my birthday. It's fun. You can light up a room. You can mood light things. Great for camping and whatnot. It comes with a remote. Look at all the colors it could go to. Uh, I don't know why it got turned on when I was un unpacking there. Off would be good. Hmm. Apparently no worky. I don't know why it's on and now it won't turn off. So now I'm going to need new batteries. Yeah, hold on. It's waterproof and submersible. That's pretty cool. You can like mood light your bathtub. I, I'm not saying, I, I don't even take baths really, but okay. Battery out now. No blinky. Okay. Okay. That's a fun one. This is, I put it back in the bag. Um, one of the faux straw, it's actually a plastic weave, but it looks like straw and <laughs> perfect. I got that online outlet set. I did use that for bopping around the ship. A couple ditty bags. This one is the Anchors Away. I also have a different one. My crossbody um, reactive hipster and paisley wave fish. That goes with that pouch. Um, I've got water shoes. I didn't use, my sister did. This is a gift from Royal, the slippers, that's a loyalty reward. Here's the other tricycle. There's nothing in it right now. Um, sure enough, ditty bag. I've got a water bottle, the collapsible plastic one that's great for storing extra water and carrying it on excursions too. I had all Crocs for my shoes except my tennis shoes, which are not in here, but I have these Crocs, which I bought in Greece. I love them. They're perfect. I have these Crocs would have the leather upper. They're just nice slip-on. You can dress them up or dress them down. Very comfortable. And I have these leather upper Croc wedges. Again, very comfortable, but I wore those as my dressy shoes. I didn't get real fancy. I wore nice pants and a blingy blouse. You'll see that. But anyway, so that's my Crocs I took on the ship. I didn't even take flip-flops. I knew it was going to be kind of cold. Whatever. Okay, I've got my Huggy and Chuggy in um, Stars and Shells Navy. I did use this and this actually. But they get stored in different places. We bought the soda package because my sister's a soda drinker and we both had to get it because we're in the same cabin. So that was our Royal Caribbean thing to use the drink machines. Uh, I forget what they're called. Another water bottle. Oh, that's not good for the plastic bottle. Oopsie. Okay, and I broke it, so, well, that was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Oops. Okay, that sucks. I have a whole cupboard full of them from previous cruises when I was buying a different packet. Sunscreen, and this is in, looks like, Shore Thing. It's just a lotion bag, and I actually do use it for lotion. I have different sunscreens. This is Shore Enough, and this was just all of my scrunchies. A lot of them are not cool. Business cards to share. My cruising slippers that I bring. <laughs> they're the fuzzy kind. These are um, snoozies, so they're not Vera or anything, but they're the same idea. But there you go. Cruising pile. This bit, I'm not gonna open up. It's actually a packing cube, a compressible packing cube, but I put things in here like my nautical notebooks, my magnet board, my all that stuff, like the decorating the door, magnets, and things like that. So, and then when I was done, I put my luggage tags in there. I bring thank you cards. This time I brought Seahorse, of course, for my stateroom attendant, waiters, whomever I want to give a thank you card to, with a tip, of course. This is a Flock 3 wet dry bag. I just used it to hold masks. Most of them are nautical themed here, but didn't really have to wear them much. I wore them for the flight, but not um, really on the cruise. 
Maybe I should have because a lot of people came off there with COVID. I did not. I'm so healthy, but yeah, a bunch of people came out with it, which means someone came in with it. So much for the no testing. Haha, <laughs> great plan. Uh, not that that was working that well anyways. This is a collapsible water bottle that my Aunt Jean got me before my cruise last year that she was supposed to come. Worked great. And it collapses really nicely for storage. I better leave that open to dry out. Do, do, do. Okay, this is my bingo pack. So B3, the stuffy. I've got bingo daubers and a t-shirt so you get extra cards with Royal. We did play once, did not win. Getting really close. That's just a poncho. This is a little square my sister gave me. It says a pocket prayer quilt. That's kind of nifty. These are my magnetic hooks. I bought them on Amazon. If you're gonna use them for cruises, make sure you get ones that are strong because they hold different weights. Get the strong ones. This was a little gift that someone handed us when we were walking around all festive. They thought we deserved them, so we both got them. We took pictures with them as well. Oh, this I bought at Chak Chobin, which is the Mayan ruins there at Costa Maya, not Costa Maya, Cozumel we went, or where were we? Geez, I don't even remember now. <laughs> anyway, so it's a little uh, onyx tower. That's cool. Let's put it up here. And then this is game stuff. So it has um, towel clips for the chairs. It's got a little thing to toss around and a couple of drink holder blow ups that I used to play Uno in the pool. We did not do it, but they just blow up. One's a draw card, one's a discard card. And then I have these blingy rings from Disco Night. I always get one and then I keep them for future cruises. Now I have three, so, and they all still work. All right, so that's the first bag and 20 minutes in, so we're gonna ramp it up. But it's okay because we're mostly done anyways. Ooh, my table's a mess. All right, big bag, <clears throat> big bag number two. This one is mostly clothes, and there we go. Okay, my dirty laundry bag, that's a Vera Bradley um, factory style Stellar Paisley, and it's got this middle section to expand mesh. We just put our laundry in there, did it, cleaned out my sister's, and that's my next dirty laundry. And then I had all these packing cubes. These are from Amazon. One's for bras, one for socks, one for underwear. There's my tennis shoes because I bought new shoes while I was at my sister's. Um, this one has, I bought the doggy pajamas at the outlet, just the pants, and then this has clothes in it. I'm not really going to go through all the clothes for time, but shirts, pants, um, and t-shirts all separate. So this is the one with pants, so some of them are a little heavier. This one has mostly the nice shirts. And then some cruising t-shirts. I bought my sister two matching ones one for both of us. So we had on, on boarding day, we had Oh Ship, like with a P. Oh Ship, it's a sister strip. It had an anchor, it's really cool, pink and white and on a blue shirt. And then on one of the other days during it, I think it was when we were in must have been Costa Maya. We had one that said Cruising Sisters and had a ship with florals. That was fun. Um, she gave me this for my birthday. All I need is love and a dog. It's a notebook, just a notebook. It's cool. Chasing Baxter is what it says. Uh, otherwise, I don't know what brand. That's all it says. And she got me a book. Um, Amanda Waters with you. She has the same one for herself. Haven't read it, um, but I will. And this is just a tote, a reusable shopping bag that she carried my stuff in. That's it for that one. Well, that was super fast. Um, next one. Log, puddle jumper, wheelie, midnight black. This is my primary carry-on. And now that I'm home, I've got dog hair on it. Um, this is exactly how it was packed for the trip, except in this front pocket. I don't know if you've seen it. It's a puddle jumper. This front pocket, I keep my luggage locks and keys and stuff. So at the end, when I unlocked everything, I threw it in there. That's where I use it if I'm keeping it with me and don't have to check the bag. I think there's something in one of these pocket on pockets. 
Yep, there it is. Oh, I bought some Harry Potter blind boxes at Five Below, and I got some of these. I'm gonna make bag charms out of them. They're really nice for it. I got two of the invisible ones. So I gave one to my sister. I got one of Ronald, and I got one of Harry on the broom. Yeah, so that's all that is. Okay, and in the bottom here, it does come with a large runway envelope, but it's not in here. I didn't bring it, but I didn't have anything in there. This back pocket in the front section. I bought these as well, the five below, because I'm going to make bag charms out of Snoopy stuff, which is the bag I'm carrying today, so it's a little late, but it will get on there pretty quick, about two sets. And then I also bought, for the same special person, the cards, um, I bought a word search Harry Potter, one for myself and for my niece, a Harry Potter coloring book. So I'll send that out. They already have Christmas presents, but, you know, it'll get there one of these days coming up for a birthday or something. All right, and that's it in the front part. I didn't have anything in these pockets. <clears throat> for the flight, I had just a, a little jacket throw over to, in case I was cold or whatever. This is a wipes pouch, sure enough, and I have various wipes. I have Clorox wipes, hand wipes, other wipes, just because I use them a lot when I'm traveling. This is my pill box that I took, anchors away, and I just had, in here I used the regular ones that come in there. I know that light is really bright, there you go. So I had what I did, there's four, so I did, so it's like two weeks. I did day, night, day, night on each. So I had two full weeks of meds, um, even though I wasn't gone that long. I took my petite planner. This is a happy planner bag that I just stored in for travel to protect it. And inside here, I put, this is my calendars and, and my little um, daily. So I did journal a bit on that. Then I have two of these from Jujube. They're the Wonder Woman pattern. One is like PRN medications like Tums and Tylenol and um, headache meds and the prescription stuff I need and Ambien for sleep if I needed it, um, stuff like that. I also had a whole bunch of packets of emergency and I took that every day for the week prior and all during and the week after the cruise just to kind of help keep my immune system at max especially because I was sick not long before the trip. The other one is emergency meds, if you will, like an inhaler if you have a chest cold, a nasal spray, um, antibiotic cream, um, Pepto, Imodium, all that kind of stuff. Like, yeah, there's a medical thing on board, but if you can take care of yourself, especially because it costs a lot, and if you're overseas in other countries near port, you can't necessarily find things you need, so I take it all with me. Just takes a little space, not that heavy. This is my Vera Bradley travel jewelry organizer. I'm not gonna open it because it's really full and some things aren't in pouches, but it's a great, it's what I've been using now for my travel jewelry after all the options I've been through. Um, I always take a file thing that I put on my cruise papers and pictures. Uh, let's see, I do have the pictures in here. And I need to scan them to send back to my sister. This is half of the... <coughs> Excuse me. Half the pictures we took. She has the other half. <coughs> Excuse me, just tickle. So I was pushing her off the fake ship bar there. So you see where we went. Coast of my... Uh, that was our boarding day. Oh, ship, it's a sister's trip. This is our, our holiday hats and sweaters. <coughs> Excuse me. This was right after that lady handed us those stockings. This is just boarding day. We took individual ones. So there's my carry-on. Disco night. I bought a thing on Amazon. <laughs> I, I had a pants on too. And then formal night. I actually don't like those pictures. So yeah, those will go fast. Anyway, pictures. My sister love, love, loves pictures. I get one free one. We ended up buying 20. It's a lot of pictures. Travel scale to weigh your carry-on i mean your check bags magnets for the door so i had everything from um look out we got the drink package to birthday ones then my cruise 
notebook. I have, um, I forget what it's called. Anyways, it's the notebook clipboard, clipboard folio or whatever. I brought this magnet board from Vera and, and, and there's extra magnets on it, but we didn't actually even open it. We didn't need it because we had a magnetic notepad on the door. Um, and this is my trivia folder where I save and or study trivia stuff. I didn't even open it, but we did win trivia. Pick a good team. <laughs> and then my waterproof regular cards, waterproof, Uno, and two regular decks, and we definitely played cards. That's it. When I was in the airport and waiting to board, I just kept my boarding pass slid in here so I could just grab it quickly. And I have a Vera Bradley um, with a business card, but not my home address. It's just the one that talks about my phone number. Okay, so that's three out of four, one to go. And this was my personal item on there. This is the Summit Backpack from Love in Sea Life Blue. Let me move some of this stuff so you can see better. So Sea Life Blue. By the way, the Summit is a very big backpack. It worked out very well. It was very comfortable to wear, even though I have it pretty full. Not super heavy, but pretty full. There is room for more, as you can see. I could actually stuff it more. All right, starting on the side, I put some wet wipes for the plane. Um, and actually, I think I squished some juice out of it because there's a little wetness there. <laughs> okay, but anyway, my phone for a carry-on, I put in there when I wasn't using it. I actually need that for today, so let me put it aside. Okay. Then I had clipped on it for the whole time. I had a hand sanitizer. This is a Vera Bradley Paisley Wave. It has the laminate on it. I just put my own sanitizer. And then I have this Stephanie Dawn um, chapstick holder, which I'm just gonna take that whole thing off and put it in my purse that I haven't even moved it into. But I just had Aquaphor, immediate relief for very dry lips, yeah, we need lip repair. When you're traveling, sometimes you need more than your normal. All right, so bottom front, this is where I kept the wallet. This is my Lug Splits XL in Stars and Shells Navy. And I still have stuff in there. I have not moved out of it. And that's really all, I just kept it. So if I pull my wallet out, I wasn't gonna pull anything else. In this pocket, there is a key loop also, just a loop. Uh, and it doesn't have a lot of give on it, but it's perfect. I did use that once, but not really much. In the top, I wanted quick access for tech stuff. So when you're waiting or getting on the plane, I just had my quick charger and long cord. I had my AirPods, uh, AirPod Pro, and then I had two Germex hand sanitizing wipes in there just for quick and easy. And those need to go in my purse too. So nothing else in that pocket. It goes to here. It's a nice pocket. So that's it for those two. And now the back. We'll go to the back one first. This is the laptop compartment. In here I had my iPad. This is just the case because I'm filming on the iPad right now. I had my Magic Keyboard, Apple Magic Keyboard. Um, I was actually using this and for some reason I couldn't log out of the internet on my phone, the Wi-Fi. So I couldn't use my iPad at that moment even though I had it with me down in the scooter bar. So I was using this keyboard, answering a bunch of Facebook messages on, on my phone. So I had the little phone propped up on the drink menu and I was ticking away and just minding my own business and people were walking by and they're like, oh my God, I love that, what is that? And I'm like, it's just a keyboard, but it, it got a lot of attention, funny enough. This is my little travel grab and go. I've got coloring book, a little one. I've got puzzle book, crossword, I've got a couple things in here and um, coloring I didn't actually do on this trip I usually always do on the cruise find a little quiet time but I had my sister and we were entertaining I was entertaining her and teaching her so it's just those um, twist crayons uh, it's like a cross between a crayon and a pencil actually but they're great for travel as long as you're not traveling oh, one of the puzzle books word seek that goes back in there too Okay, so that's it in that back pocket. Now, to the main pocket and the last portion of the unpacking. There's quite a lot in here, actually. Um, <laughs> you get a look. It looks a bit of a disaster at the moment because I've been digging in it. Um, but the pouch is all lined up, so nothing was really stacked on top. It worked. So in the front, you have this clear view. I had a couple of masks just for the flight. A couple of travel and or tropical cruise related. Those actually need to go to wash. 
I had my umbrella. This is the small one in Anchors Away. I had sunglasses. That's Paisley Wave in the sunglass case, clamshell. And these are actually not my Sea Life sunglasses. They're lilac tapestry, whatever. Then uh, my sister gave me some dorables because she knows I make things from them and love them. I've got my Vera Bradley tartan plaid raincoat. I wore it on the way out. It actually rained the day I left. It rained a lot in Tucson while I was gone. Um, I actually bought my sister a matching Peacock Garden factory style poncho, which are great. We didn't even need to use them, thankfully, but we had them. And we would have been twinsies. Uh, okay, what else have I got in here? Well, my boarding passes for the trip. My fan that I used a lot. It's Little Mermaid, but I got it really cheap. I don't even remember where I got it now, but it works really well. And I sweat a lot, a lot, so that is very important. Actually, I might put that back in my purse too, just because I use it. Okay, I use my passport wallet for, guess what? My passport and my immunization card. What is this? Oh, and that is my, well, I probably need to take that out. That is my um, TSA pre-check. Anyway, okay, stuff I need. And it was in this back section because I didn't need it once we got off the ship. I got some Minecraft playing cards, also for my niece. They're just regular cards, but they have these cute Minecraft things. She's huge Minecraft. We played together all summer, so I got her those. Then I have, Oh, I'm totally going to screw up the name. Uh, Ships and Bows. I don't know. It's Jujube Hello Kitty. Perfect nautical. Here's the medium set piece. It's a, one of those ones with mixed pattern. And the small set piece matches the large. So I actually used all of these. How did I use them? I used this one. Wrist like, this is actually goes in my purse normally. It's just a miscellaneous. It has hair ties. It has wipes for sanitizing. It has some just-in-case meds. It has... Dental floss, toothpicks, just a basic catch-all. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to put that in my purse. I'll switch it to a different one, but right now it can go. This medium one was more of a travel version of the same. So it had extra, it had extra hair ties, different kind. It had a travel fan that's also a flashlight, lotion, and hand sanitizer lotion. That also needs to go over there. This can get emptied out. <laughs> I need to empty stuff out. Put it away. Oops. Okay, so the large set piece I used as my tech stuff. So I've got my external battery if my phone needs a charge, because it's a Magna one. I've got extra cords. So I've got my Vera Bradley one in iCat, eCat. Uh, I've got Lilac Medallion card case that actually has cards in it. I need to pack my first more cords. A screen wiper. My sister gave me this cord. It's not Vera, but it's Vera Light. And it has a braided cord and a Velcro thing. I haven't used it yet. I've got this selfie stick tripod thing. Didn't use it. Again. A plug. And a little piggy thing. But if you're using your phone like on the tray, on the plane, it will... Hold it up so you don't have to hold it in your hands the whole time. So that's cool. Oh, guys, this is a big mess on my table. My sister got me, okay, I am, you know, pushing diabetes and whatnot, and my sister gave me candy for my birthday, which she knows this is a family tradition. It's the filled holiday candy, and I took it out of the tins because I needed to be able to travel, so I shared that on the plane with the girl sitting next to me. Uh, here's those little Harry Potter doofers. Uh, I just threw them in my bag. So there's the Ronnie, Ronald. Here's the Harry on the broom and the invisible Harry. They're good weight. They're going to be great bag charms. This is the compact organizer from Factory Style and the Sure Enough Lighten Up, um, which I think is more reactive already. But this has my... Uh, I have a sacral neuromodulator, a stimulator, a pacemaker for my pacemaker for my bladder. But anyways, it's the device that controls it and the communicator. So you put the communicator on the device and then you adjust the settings. So there's that. And then it just has the cords in the front pocket. So it's 
That's what I use that for all the time. Should I just go there? The large schooner pouch, here it is. Inside here, I had glasses and sunglasses, so I had some um, retainers. Like if you had your sunglasses, you just wanna drop them, they stay on your neck, so I had a couple of those. I have another Anchors Away sunglass case. In here, I actually had prescription glasses that I don't wear. I, my, my vision is very good. It's like, I don't know, 20, 40. But sometimes when my eyes are tired or it's late or the lighting's bad, like sitting in the back of the theater, I have to squint to see faces. So I brought them. I didn't actually use them. And then the other ones. Ah, brand new um, prescription sunglasses from the VA. We're going to talk about these on another video. But... Prescription sunglasses this is my first pair, and I thought I would use them, but I didn't. I didn't actually need them for a couple different reasons, but I need to put that over there. Okay, so lots of things to put away. All right, and the last item in here, there you go. So I had the two small slips, and there's a big cargo in the back, so I had everything organized. There's also, oh, wait, I better check. There's a privacy zipper here, too. Yeah, I didn't put anything in there. Okay, doggy. She's curled up in her bed. Like, what is going on? I think she thinks I'm leaving again. Okay. This was packed as a catch-all pouch, but for, like, ginger chews for my sister because she's very motion sensitive. But I had gum. She gave me a couple candy canes. They're, like, mixed flavors. M&Ms that she gave me that I didn't eat. Glucose tabs in case we needed it. Yeah. Grabbed a peppermint from a restaurant we went to. I didn't eat it. We've got breath strips, We've got some mints, thin mint, uh, Mentos, clean breath. Uh, I know there's more breath strips in here, I'm sure. Oh, there's another peppermint. And the rest is ginger chews. So, like, look, a bunch of them. She didn't, she had other things she took in it and ate. So, there's mandarin, there's mango, there's lemon. So, different ones. They're really good. Um, I didn't need any because I didn't need any candy. Oh, there's the other breast strips. Three, three packs, different flavors. Okay, second of that pencil pouch thing. Um, yeah. Okay, that's it. That is what I took on my cruise. And like I said, used just about everything. Obviously, we didn't consume everything. That's fine. Um, but used pretty much everything uh, just about, so... Hopefully that helps with all your questions. And if not, feel free to comment and ask more. I do travel a lot. I, do ha I have zero trips planned right now for 2023. Doesn't mean there's not ideas or things brewing, but at the moment I am very much in money saving mode and I need to really curtail my spending because I put in a $60,000 gravel driveway in Virginia and I need to pay for that. So, Plus, I want to build a house in a couple years. So anyways, I really need to stop shopping as much. You will still see hauls. I do have things already ordered for the orders. And I will still be putting out videos. But there's plenty more to share and plenty to now, like, instead of buying, 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 and I have nowhere else to store stuff, honestly. Um, start using the things more. And I, not that I'm not using them, but focusing more on comparison and review and what's in my bags and... We'll see. I mean, you know, it's going to keep going what it's doing. Let's be honest. I'm not going to stop shopping altogether. But, yeah, it's not going to be these crazy big hauls. <laughs> anyway, so hope you've been enjoying. Happy holidays to everyone. Best wishes and a very happy new year if I don't see you before then. Bye for now.